take a look at um, these pictures of a woman in a fairly regular swimsuit, I think, taken at the swimming pool in her apartment block. Now, nothing controversial, you might think about what she's wearing, but this woman was allegedly asked to change her outfit, cover up or leave the pool after complaints <coughs> that her costume was too inappropriate for children to be around. And shockingly, she claims she was told there are a lot of teenage boys in the complex and they don't need to be excited. So, <laughs> I know. So, should we worry about what people will think when it comes to us wearing our swimwear in public places? I mean, this, I, I'm, I'm quite surprised this caused any fuss at all. I mean, she's more covered up than most people on exactly. holiday. They're in a, a bikini to begin with. Do, but you know, do you know what's really, what's really sad about this is I look at that lady and I think she's completely appropriately dressed to go out into the swimming pool. Now, if a 14-year-old or, or a young boy or a young man is getting excited, good on him, you know? <laughs> but, but as far as I'm concerned, so what? As a, as a woman, do I need to cover up just in case a bloke gets excited? Most men can control themselves. They are not dogs, they are not animals. They can just go admire a woman's body and go, nice. And that's it, let's just leave it at that. But mm. for her to cover up, that sends the wrong message to society. And also, I think it really degrades men. Mm. So it's kind of like, oh, I've got to cover up just in case yeah. you get excited. Yeah. Well, no, just, just to be clear, th this lady, Miss Jenkins, her name is, um, and this was in a, a place called Smoky Crossing Apartments in Tennessee. Oh. Um, no. <laughs> Mid-America. Absolutely, yes. Pretty religious. And this apartment complex um, have said that our leasing agent did not state that Miss Jenkins swimwear would excite teenage boys, but, but she's obviously saying that that did happen. But it does get you thinking about, like, when you are on holiday, w would you go topless happily, for instance? Um, I wouldn't, but that has nothing to do with what people, you know, exciting boys. I mean, even if I went topless, I reckon they'd still be covered up in my pants. But <laughs> 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 but, um, I just, I find it really weird that you should have to cover up. Joe's family go topless, and I remember the first time when I went away from last year, I, I was a bit like, oh. OK, but at the same time, I, then, I was then angry at myself for even being bothered about it because they're just boobs. Men are allowed to walk around without a top on and we don't think anything of it. So why can't women? Why, like, I agree with you, Syrah. Why do we look at men as if they're like, oh, I, I must see boobs? You know, they're not. Yeah, but I... Um... <laughs> well, I keep mine covered up, obviously, because there'd be no sun left for anyone else. <laughs> if babies out. Um, but... I don't know. I want to be that woman of the world that goes, you know what? They're just boobs. So what? <laughs> but I lie there, and if there's someone topless, I can't help but go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. You do, don't you? Have and a little I, I look. Mean, she talks to me, I go, yes. <laughs> and I think, stop looking at her boobs, but I can't <laughs> help it. And actually, when me and Kira went away last year, we went on the beach, and there wasn't that many topless, actually, but there was one woman. And as we walked by, Kira said to me, that woman topless. I went, yeah. She went, I don't know if I'm okay with that. And I went, I don't think she cares that you're okay. <laughs> you know, you better get over it. But you can't yeah. help. I don't know. Do you think if there was less of a stigma on going topless, though, it would be normal and we wouldn't put this whole weird thing on women's bodies being naked and tempting and... Do you know what I mean? If, if more people did it, maybe it would be the norm and we just wouldn't mind, like when men walk around without anything on. Yeah, I think that's an ideal... Yeah, it's, it's ideal. Men topless. They got, well, the men I go haven't got boobs. Um, <laughs> but they have got a chest, which I find very attractive. Ooh, and, Stacey! But, you know, what's the difference between me being attracted to a man's handsome... Yeah, it's a fair But I don't think it's about being attractive because even I'm, I'm not attracted to, to a woman whose boobs are out but I can't help looking at them. But is that because we don't we don't embrace it enough? Yeah. I don't want to embrace her boobs. I think she <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, I think it's a really nice idea and I hopefully we'll get to that with future generations but we live in I mean we're in Britain you know we're so prudish about our mm. bodies it's going to take a long time why do you to kind of to get to that. boobs? Well, it's not about I burning them, my darling. It's about getting an even tan, that's Why? all. And who doesn't love just being out and like, woohoo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I like getting home and seeing the big white bit. <laughs> just too big white bit. <laughs> and then I know I've got a tan because yeah. there's those big white boobs. <laughs> <laughs> And a big white bum. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chris. No, I'm talking about mine. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> I'm glad I took those pap shots you know at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new 
you swim uh, thing at the minute, though? That thong thing? You see all the girls in the telly and stuff if they're in swimsuits. It's all oh, about yeah. the thong, thong know, isn't it? It's this might be cut out here. Yeah, yeah it's all about the side boots. Like, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>